Good afternoon everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video to talk about our mental state, especially at the moment, because I've seen not so much people in our groups, but across LinkedIn, for example, and definitely across Facebook, about people really being affected by things. And that's not just contractors, of course, or permies that have lost jobs. It's everybody obviously going through shit times, through the whole COVID thing, uh, lockdown. And of course, if you've got, um, or you've experienced, you know, mental, um, also a pro you know, problems or conditions in the past and, and lots of us have to some degree yeah people don't talk about mental illness do they very often and uh, it's being you know bumped up in the media a lot more that you know we should talk about it and we should talk openly about these things lots of people get depressed and we all get down to some degree don't we I've definitely seen it when I'm searching for jobs when you're just constantly plowing plowing ahead applying for roles, getting knocked back, it can really do your head in, can't it? And it can really depress you if you don't put in place systems and people around you to help you. And you've got to do some of that yourself, of course. So your mental state is really, really important. So, you know, it might be that your finances are up the creek. It might be something different. It could be that relationships are suffering and, you know, things that I find that help me and I've heard help other people are I go on about um, uh, doing exercise looking after yourself so filling your own cup I've heard it called plenty of times in, in on in groups that I'm in filling your own cup making sure you are okay first so whether that for you is getting out in nature you know, having a walk in the woods, really, really good for your mental well-being and your physical state, of course. Doing physical exercise is really good for your mental state as well as your physical body. Um, I, I use things like apps, so I use Insight Timer. So you don't have to be a, you know, you don't have to be put off by the word meditation, right? It's not all sort of woo-woo and stuff like that. You can just listen to some calming music, um, some calming voice. It really can set you up for the day. I don't do enough of it personally. I, sh I mean to do it every single day and I don't. And so that's something I want to take on board and try and do. So the other thing that I wanted to mention uh, was um, a good way to help you sort out your own mental state is by focusing on other people. So sometimes that might be called paying it forward. So I might have mentioned it before in some of the groups, but if you're at a coffee shop, for example, and you want to buy someone else a coffee or pay the barista and say, I'm paying for the person, next person that comes in for a coffee. Now, that's a twofold benefit because you're not only benefiting that person, it's also a massive benefit to you, to yourself, okay? And you might not have the money and the funds to do things like that, but you can do it in a smaller way. So even if you know I'm out of work, for example, and money might be tighter, when I'm at the local Sainsbury's shop, for example, I might just put a, you know, an extra pack of biscuits in the in the trolley and then put that in the local food bank. So you can do something very small like that. And like I say, it's a twofold thing. You're helping out whoever you're helping out, whether it's a charity or a person or a food bank. But the main reason to do it, and there's no shame in doing it for this reason, is to help yourself, to help your mental state, to help your sense of um, you know, contribution. So that is really, really important. So if you've never done that, people will talk about it all the time, but people rarely go and do it, okay? So I've done it in the past in London, go and bought a, a homeless guy on the street a sandwich. You might not want to give the guy money, for example, because we've got all these hang-ups. Is he going to go and buy a drink or drugs? Well, rather than judging the situation or whatever, you could just go and buy them a you know, bag of crisps or a sandwich or something like that. So that's a definite good thing to do. The other thing is, um, if you don't want to just give up like a monetary thing is uh i'm um, sorry i'm in a car park here just want to make sure i'm not run over is just pay it forward with a compliment to someone just acknowledge someone in your life or give someone a smile or let someone out you know in the car park in front of you and you know do that and the idea is again to give your mental state a little boost 
and you're paying it forward. You're paying it forward to the person, but you're doing it to give yourself that little jump start, that little, that little hit. And that's really, really good for your own mental well-being. And the other, I was going to say that that's one of the reasons why I do the free CV reviews, okay? Because ultimately it was about helping people, but I get such a massive, massive buzz out of helping people you know, improve their CV or whatever it is, whether it's your LinkedIn profile, anything like that. Tagging people for a roles and people thank you. It's just really nice, really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether, <laughs> whether you say thank you to me or not. It's not about that. I feel great by doing that little um, good deed or whatever you want to call it, that little bit of giving back. So think about how you can do that in your life. Maybe it's something small like that, helping someone else out. But because I, I guarantee it will help your mental state. It will definitely help your mental state. I promise you that. And if anyone in these groups or anyone watching this is suffering in any way, then please, you know, reach out to the groups if this is in the group. Drop me an email. I'll try and make sure I put an email address below. I'm happy to have a chat with you. I'm sure there's other people in the groups that can help as well. If you're a, if you're a guy as well and you're struggling with whether it's finances or relationships or things like that, then I am actually a part of a, um, a men's group, a mentoring group that we help help men. We're trying to reduce suicides, um, you know, globally. And so that's a, that's a group specifically for men, but whether you're male or female, you can reach out to me anyway. But if you're a guy and you're in those sort of situations with money issues or relationship problems or anything like that that is getting you down, then I'm happy to share with you the Facebook group and things like that and give you some resources to help you. And you can go and join that if you would like. So pay it forward. Look after your own mental state. It's not just about the giving, but the act of giving is actually something that is gonna reward you and help your mental state too. So I hope that's useful. Hope you're having a good day. All the best. See you, bye.